Imagine if technology meant that you didn't have to work anymore. Fully automated. Luxury communism. Okay, so I am incredibly excited. I am in Bologna to meet one of my all-time political heroes, libertarian communist legend, Franco Bifo Berardi. Key figure of the autonomous movement in Northern Italy in the 1970s. So that's the strain of libertarian communism which emerged out of a fragmented worker struggle and also an insurgent student movement all-round massive influence on my own politics. This idea that you can work less if you rethink technology. The work that the autonomous did in terms of propaganda with Radio Alice, that was a huge influence on the work that we do at Navarra Media. I'm gassed. <laughs> When we occupied our university in 2010, it was like a crash course in activism. Only two Labour MPs visited us, and they were Jeremy Corbyn and John McDonnell. And then years later, all the people that I shared that student movement with now work for Jeremy Corbyn or John McDonnell or the Labour Party, or they're doing things with momentum. Can you build and sustain a provocative and irreverent leftist counterculture when at the same time you are wanting to win elections? Probably not. <laughs> Probably not, but who cares? You try. Forty years ago, I was not thinking about election. Nowadays, I would speak about the European elections. We were confronting a broken social contract, the basic social contract that your generation would have a better standard of living than your parents' generation. And so that led me to an understanding of communism to hold in the commons, unmediated by a state, which also at its heart is democratic, is libertarian, has an emphasis on individual as well as collective human flourishing. And that's what takes me back to your work. That's why I think it's so important. Um, well, communism is the political uh, force of a national state is very bad. It's the worst thing I can imagine. Communist as those who understand that uh, the national state is nothing. What is important is solidarity among people. This is the best thing I know. The European Union imposed crippling austerity on Greece. It has, through its border regime, led to the deaths of untold thousands in the Mediterranean. Shouldn't all leftists be Brexiteers? If I was Jeremy Corbyn, I would call for a second referendum tomorrow morning. Not because uh, uh, I want to go back to the European Union, but because a second referendum would be a declaration of war against neoliberal Europe would be a proposal of radical renovation of the European Union. Because we are on the brink of civil war. You are on the brink of civil war in the United Kingdom. They are on the brink of civil war in America. We are on the brink of civil war in Italy. The alternative is civil war or a socialist reinvention of technology, work, and social good. If you accept the idea, which is not so bad, that we can work less, we can consume less, but better, mm. and most of all, we can enjoy more of our time, you see that technology can become a good thing, mm -hmm. because more time means more culture, more pleasure, more love, more travels, more teaching mathematics to children, and so on and so on. Yeah, I'll buy that. It's 
the, um, there's that wonderful essay uh, about zombie neoliberalism. So it's yeah. the corpse which just keeps going, except there's no...